Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to generate a high quality Cartesian mesh using the TrimSem Mesher within the Star CCM Plus. The TrimSem Mesher has the ability to produce a high quality Cartesian mesh with a minimal cell skewness angle. In Star CCM Plus, the TrimSem Mesher is available for both the parts based meshing and regions based meshing approaches. In the former, it is referred to as the trim cell measure, while in the latter, it is called the trimmer mesh model. Let's first see how the trim cell measure generates a grid for an arbitrary input surface. At first, it generates an initial template mesh, which is constructed only from hexahedral cells, as is shown here. This template mesh is generated based on the target size and local refinement controls that the user has specified. Then using the input surface, which is shown here as an example, the trim cell mesher cuts or trims the template mesh based on the input surface, leaving you with a mesh which is predominantly constituted of hexahedral cells with trim cells next to the boundaries. Therefore, the trim cell measure with its hexagonal cell topology and the ability of the trim cell approach to easily accommodate a wide range of arbitrary geometries generates a Cartesian mesh which is typically of high quality and presents high orthogonality to the mean free stream flow. However, in order to generate a high quality Cartesian mesh using the trim cell measure, it is necessary to have some knowledge about some basic features of this measure, which are presented in the following sections. Refinement of the trim cell measure. Now let's see how the trim cell measure refines or coarsens a mesh. Note that the template mesh size is defined according to the target surface size. The trim cell measure refines your mesh by splitting the edges of cells by two. It also coarsens your cells by doubling the edges of the cells. Therefore, it allows for increasing or decreasing cell size by a factor of 2. For instance, let's assume that we have a mesh with a cell size of 8 cm. Coarsening this cell means that we will have a mesh size equal to 16 cm, 32 cm, etc. Similarly, refining the mesh means that the mesh size will be equal to 4 cm, 2 cm, etc. Therefore, the trim cell measure can only refine cells by splitting the edges of the original cell in half. Thus, the volumetric control refines the cells to the next lowest allowable cell size. For instance, in this case, let's assume that the core mesh cell size is 8 cm. Then, the cells within the mesh can only be split to sizes of 4, 2, and 1 cm. So, if you specify a cell size of 3 cm, you would actually get a cell size of 2 cm within the mesh. Therefore, if a particular absolute value for the cell size is required in a certain region, the base size of the mesh must be a power of 2 of this required cell size in order to actually realize the exact desired value. Otherwise, the cell size within the region where the mesh refinement is applied will snap to the factor of 2 of the base size nearest to the input value. For instance, consider that we want to generate a grid around this body where it is required that the grid size on the body surface to be 3 cm. For this purpose, the base size of the mesh must be a power of 2 of this required cell size, which is 3 cm, in order to actually realize the exact desired value. A consequence of this limitation is that cell aspect ratios will always be a power of 2 as well. Therefore, it is a good practice that you use the base size as a reference value to define all the mesh sizes in your domain. For instance, in this example, consider that, that uh, the 8 cm is the base size value. Then, you can set the other sizes by multiplying the base size uh, by multiples of 2 or dividing the base size value by 2, 4, Eight. Thus, in, in this example, we will have the following relation between the sizes of the cells. This uh, allows you uh, to refine or coarsen your mesh using only a single parameter, which later facilitates the grid convergence study. 
Note that if you want to reduce your cell count by half, all you need to do is to increase the base size by 20% using the mesh alignment option. To understand better the mesh alignment option within the trim cell measure, I'm going to present a simple tutorial for a cube uh, with the edge size of 1 meter as shown here. For this purpose, start up star CCM plus in a manner that is appropriate to your working directory. Create a new simulation by clicking here. Go ahead and click OK. To save the simulation, click here. I'm going to call it trim cell measure. Under geometry, right click on parts and select new shape part, click on block for corner one put a minus 0 0.1 meter for all the coordinates while for corner two put 0 0.9 meters for all the coordinates go ahead and click on OK Here in this tutorial, I'm going to generate the mesh using the parts-based meshing. So under geometry, right click on operations, then new, mesh, automated mesh. Here in this dialog, I'm going to select the trim cell measure. Go ahead and click OK. In the properties window, set the input parts to block. Under automated mesh measures, click on trim cell measure and check the box for perform mesh alignment. Under default controls, set the base size to 0 0.2 meters. Also set the maximum cell size to 100. Now I have set up the mesh values. However, before the generation of the mesh, we need to assign the part that we just created to a region. So under parts, right click on block and select assign parts to regions. Click on apply and then close the dialog. Go ahead and generate the volume mesh from here. To visualize uh, the generated mesh, right click on scenes, new scene, mesh. As can be seen, the trim cell measure has generated a mesh with trim cells that are located on the boundaries. To fix this, we can set the origin for the mesh alignment to the coordinates of the lower left corner. So under default controls, click on mesh alignment location and set the location to minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1 meter. Go ahead and click on generate volume mesh from here. Therefore, the trim cell measure has the option to align the template mesh to any origin location that you want. This allows you to change the origin uh, to a point where you don't wish to have trim cells. 
this option is very helpful especially in case of the free surface calculations where it is desirable to align the mesh with the plane corresponding to an initial free surface such alignment is done not only uh, in order to make the physical model setup and initialization easier but also to improve accuracy Note that by default, the template mesh is aligned with the Global Cartesian Laboratory Coordinate System. However, you can change the coordinate system under TrimSem Measure to generate a mesh which is aligned along a specific direction, such as along the free stream direction of the flow. To test this, let's first create a local coordinate system which is rotated 45 degrees with respect to the Global Cartesian Laboratory Coordinate System. So, under uh, Tools, Coordinate Systems, Laboratory, right click on local coordinate systems new cartesian for i direction put 0 0.707 for both x and y while for the j direction put uh, minus 0 0.707 for x and 0 0.707 for y Go ahead and click on create and then close the dialog. By making scene transparent, from here in the graphics window, uh, you can see the local coordinate system that we just created. Now let's change the coordinate system to the new one which is rotated 45 degrees. For this purpose under geometry, operations, automated mesh, measures, click on trim some measure and set the coordinate system to cartesian one go ahead and click on generate volume mesh from here as you can see the generated mesh has been aligned with the new coordinate system which has been rotated 45 degrees using the growth rates the growth rates in the trim cell measure are used to set the rate of increase in the size of one cell to another. A fast growth rate increases cell sizes rapidly, while a slow growth rate means that multiple cell layers are used to provide a gradual transition. The growth rate determines the transition between the cell sizes by specifying a minimum number of cell layers of each size. Uh, in the star CCM plus there are both the volume growth rate and the surface growth rate. The former is used uh, to set the transition of one cell size to the next within the template mesh while the surface growth rate determines the transition of cell sizes to the next for the cells next to surfaces in the template mesh. Star CCM Plus provides five different growth rates which define cell size transition by specifying a minimum number of cell layers of each size. Fast growth rate. The fast growth rate corresponds to the fastest transition from the smallest cells to the largest cells in the computational domain. This setting uses at least one layer of each cell size within the transition. This option also results in the least number of cells. Medium growth rate. The medium option provides us with at least two layers of each cell size within the transition. Slow growth rate. The slow option offers you the minimum of four layers of each cell size uh, within the transition. Very slow growth rate. And the very slow gives the minimum of eight layers of each cell size within the transition. Custom growth rate. Finally, by using the custom option, you can set the minimum layers of each cell size within the transition. Now let's see the performance of these growth rates options within the star CCM plus. For this purpose, first let's split up the block surface into two parts. So under geometry, parts, block, surfaces, right click on block surface and select split by patch. Select the surface 29 and rename it to Inlet. 
click on create and then close the dialog now under operations right click on automated mesh and select execute under geometry operations automated mesh measures click on trim cell measure and set the coordinate system to laboratory again right click on automated mesh and click execute Under Automated Mesh, Default Controls, set the base size to 0.05 meters. Then click on Generate Volume Mesh. Under Automated Mesh, right click on Custom Controls, New, Surface Control. Under Custom Controls, click on Surface Control. In the properties window, set the part surfaces to inlet. Under surface controls, controls, click on target surface size and set it to custom. Click on trimmer surface growth rate and set it to custom either. Now under values, click on target surface size and set the percentage of paste to 25. Therefore, we are going to have three different sizes for the cells within the domain. The template cells, which are 0.05 meters. The cells located on the inlet boundary, which are 0.0125 meters. And finally, the cells with the size of 0.025 meters, which are located within the transition layers from the inlet boundary to the template cells. Click on Generate Volume Mesh. As can be seen here, under Automated Mesh, Default Controls, the volume growth rate has, uh, has been set to fast and also we have disabled the surface growth rate. As is expected from the fast growth rate option, we have only one layer of the cells with the size of 0.025 meters within the transition from the inlet boundary to the template cells. Now, uh, let's set the volume growth rate to medium. Click on Generate Volume Mesh. So as can be seen here, due to the use of the medium growth rate, we have uh, at least two layers of the cells with the size of 0.025 meters within the transition from the inlet boundary to the template cells, which in this case, uh, there are three layers. Now let's set this option to slow. So as we are using the slow growth rate uh, option, therefore we have the minimum of four layers of the cells with the size of 0.025 meters within the transition from the inlet boundary to the template cells. In this case, we have five layers. And the very slow option gives the minimum of 8 layers of the cells with the size of 0.025 meters within the transition from the inlet boundary to the template cells. In this case, we have 9 layers. Now let's uh, set the volume growth rate to custom. Under volume growth rate, click on custom default growth rate and set the number of growth layers to 4, which in fact specifies the least number of growth layers. Go ahead and click on generate volume mesh. 
In this case, we have five growth layers of the cells with the size of 0.025 meters within the transition. Now let's find out more about the surface growth rate option. So under custom controls, surface control values, click on trimmer surface growth rate and set it to fast. Click on generate volume mesh. Apparently nothing changed uh, since the FAST option uses at least one layer to transition the cell sizes from the boundaries to the template mesh. Now set this option to medium and click on generate volume mesh. As can be seen in this case, we have at least two layers to transition the cell sizes from the boundaries to the template mesh. Now set this option to slow and then click on generate volume mesh. So we have the minimum of four layers to transition the cell sizes from the boundaries to the template mesh. Now set this option to very slow and then click on generate volume mesh. The very slow option gives the minimum of 8 layers to transition the cell sizes from the boundaries to the template mesh. Also here we have the custom option for the surface growth rate. So let's set, this, let's set the surface growth rate to custom. Under Trimmer Surface Growth Rate, click on Custom Surface Growth Rate and set the number of growth layers to 4, which in fact is the least number of growth layers. Then click on Generate Volume Mesh. In this case, we have 6 growth layers to transition the cell sizes from the boundaries to the template mesh. Trimmer anisotropic sizes. Using the trimmer anisotropic cell sizes, you can specify a different cell size in each coordinate direction. The coordinate system in this case is the trimmer measure coordinate system. The trimmer measure co coordinate system can be visualized under geometry, operations, automated mesh, measures, trim cell measure. By default, if you don't specify any anisotropic size for a coordinate direction, the volumetric control uses the isotropic size. If you also do not specify any isotropic cell size, the volumetric control uses the global reference values. To specify anisotropic cell sizes, first we need to create a volumetric control. For this purpose, under operations, automated mesh, right click on custom controls, new volumetric control. Under custom controls, click on volumetric control and set the parts to block. Under volumetric control, controls, click on trimmer and check the box for customized anisotropic size. Then under values, click on trimmer anisotropic size. As can be seen here, we can select the direction along which we want to apply an anisotropic size refinement. Check the box for custom X size. Then under trimmer anisotropic size, you can specify the relative to base or absolute trimmer anisotropic size. Here I'm going to set the relative X size to 25% of the base size value. Now go ahead and click on generate volume mesh. Another important point is that the cells that are located within an anisotropic volumetric control are not subject to the template growth rate settings. The transition of the anisotropic cells to large cells is equivalent to the fast growth rate settings, i.e. at least one layer of each cell size is put within the transition. To test this first under geometry, parts, right click on block and select duplicate. Then click on block 2 and in the properties window and check region. 
also change the x component of the corner 2 to 0 0.4 meters. Then under operations, automated mesh, custom controls, click on volumetric control and set the parts to block 2. Go ahead and click on generate volume mesh. As can be seen here, Within the transition from small cells to large cells, there is at least one layer of each cell size within the transition. Now under operations, automated mesh measures, click on trim cell measure and set the coordinate system to Cartesian 1. Go ahead and click on generate volume mesh. As can be observed near the boundaries, the anisotropic refinement reverts to isotropic refinement. This is because the boundaries are not aligned with the trim cell measure coordinate system. Thus, near the boundaries, which are not aligned with the trim cell measure coordinate system, the anisotropic refinement reverts to isotropic refinement. However, in cases where the boundaries are aligned with the trim cell measure coordinate directions, uh, the volumetric control uses the the anisotropic refinement for cells up to and including the boundaries. To check this, let's first set the coordinate system back to the laboratory. Then under volumetric control, values, trimmer anisotropic size, set the relative X size to 12.5% of the base size. Go ahead and click on Generate Volume Mesh. As can be seen here, the volumetric control uses the, uses the anisotropic refinement for cells up to and including the boundaries. This is the end of this video. I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know what you think about this video by leaving a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video and for further upcoming videos, please subscribe to this channel.